So let's roll, babies. All right. So we're going to start with, and I went over this yesterday or the day before, I don't even know what fucking day it is, about fear of failure. You know, a lot of women come in and they don't even want to reach out. They're like, this is going to be one more thing. I fear, I'm, I fear of failure. And I was like, hold on. You've got adrenal fatigue. You've got thyroid issues. You've got money problems. Your relationships are suffering. You're not sleeping. You can't stay on a diet longer than three weeks. Like you are living a failure. So you're not scared of failure. What you're scared of is success. It's a different spin, right? And so what that looks like is this. Just everybody right now, what weight do you want to be? And if you're not here for weight, what is it that you're wanting with your health? What is it that you feel like no matter what you keep doing, what's going on, you just can't seem to get there. Like, what is that one thing? And if it's weight, please just put your weight number there and how many pounds that is. Like how many pounds down that would, you know, equal out to 40 pounds, 50 pounds, whatever. So if it's 147 or 40 pounds down, if it's 50 pounds down, you know, we had a lady that signed up and she was 311 pounds. And if it is, so if you're trying to lose 200 pounds or 20 pounds or, or whatever, can you imagine, can you feel it here in your heart? Can you feel what it would feel like to be that weight? Yes or no? If the answer is no, if it feels like doubtful or like, oh God, you know, all this stuff, that just means that's all the shit we get to clear out. Okay. That's what we get to clear out. That's the blocks. That's the trauma. And then some people will, will think, okay, well, if I get to be that weight, something bad's going to happen. I'm going to lose it. I'll get raped. My friends will be jealous of me. My husband may want to, he may, it may cause problems. So those of you that are brave, and if you're not, don't feel bad for that. Let's go through a few of these limiting beliefs, AKA trauma. Cause let's be real. Nobody wants to be a limiting believer. It's because of trauma. And I'm going to explain where it comes from. And I want to add something. I want you to start looking at your weight, your weight on your body. Cause I was once, um, had this stubborn body fat, man, like probably in four pants to, you know, up. Right. I, I know what it's, what it's like. My struggles were, I'm more of a flight. Whereas people with extra pounds on them are more fight, fight or flight. And, um, so I had another host of issues, but ooh, the unworthiness was fucking deep. Holy shit. So I want you to look at the weight that's on your body as emotional baggage. Okay. Weight is literally how we protect ourselves. Think about it. We get stressed out. What do we want to do? We want to eat or we don't want to eat. We want to feel safe. Sometimes having a cinnamon roll makes us feel safe. Sometimes having a French fry feels safe. Now let's go back to where it started. What are some beliefs that your mother, your father, your sister, your caregiver had around people that were fit and skinny or lean or, you know, just not overweight, like hot, sexy. Like what did they say about those people? I'll, I'll start with me. I thought fitness people were extremely uh, bitchy, like Gary. I felt very intimidated by people with muscles. I felt inferior. You know, I felt like they were better than me. And people would say like, oh, they're, they're on steroids or all on steroids or they're probably bitchy. You know, they probably think they're better than everybody else. Oh, here's one. Sexy, pretty girls are all sluts. Like all of them. If she's hot, she's a slut. End of story. Like she's a slut. <laughs> if she's hot, she's a slut. Stupid, you know? And even on all the movies that we watch, <sighs> House Bunny, all the pretty girls are a ditz. They're stupid. You won't be taken seriously. I mean, let's just, I mean, y'all throw them out. What are some beliefs that your mom and your dad or you thought Growing up, maybe the TV, the media, something, the church. What's the belief around people that are at a healthy weight, fit, sexy, all that stuff? Ginger said, everything's behind me from my past. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then where you hold fat is actually, it's like tells a lot about your trauma. Yeah. Inferior. I felt very like not good enough being around people that they get all the guys are girls. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a good one. They got all the guys. Holy shit. So who told y'all this? Is this something that, that you heard in school or did your mom, did your dad, like, you know, oh, Sarah had a good one that they're more worthy or successful. Oh my God. And they always got their way. Y'all are fucking killing it. Y'all are crushing it. These are so good. Yeah. Mom, guys, guys don't like fat girls. They don't feel pain. Like it must be nice because they don't feel pain. Okay. I appreciate it. I love hearing this. This is so healing for people to hear this. It's like money. It's like when people say rich people are bitches, that's not true because I know so many good hearted people with money. I mean, I have quote money, you know I mean? Like, you know what I mean? We made 70 K one month, 60 K one month, 40 K this month. You know what I mean? It's like, that's kind of, that's like money. I can be crazy bitch sometimes, but for the most part, I really deeply, like I'm a kind person. So that's a false belief, right? Wow. The less clothes is worn, the more money is made. Wow. 
and I wasn't supposed to be or allowed to be prettier than my mom. Okay. My mom would always get jealous if her boyfriends would talk to someone she thought was prettier. So sad. Wow. These are fucking great. These are great. Okay. So is it true that people that are leaner than you, are they better than you? Are they a better person? And even if you feel that way, that's why you have extra weight on you. It's because you don't feel worthy. See how we're getting down to a worthiness issue. Don't worry. I've got homework for you. It's going to, we're going to get there. I've personally felt like my story was like a Disney story. Like I believed in the struggle. I believe that to get anything worth a fuck, you had to damn near kill yourself. And that's so false. And at the root of that is I believe that I was not innately enough. And you know, you think of a child and I know that a lot of people start out feeling the opposite of what I'm about to say. If you think of a child, that child and our innate, like God given birthright, our God given birthright is to like, the world is our freaking oyster. You know what I mean? Like, what do we want? We can have, it doesn't matter. Even if you were born in the projects, you can be Jay-Z. Like if you want money and you want be married to Beyonce and have beautiful kids and be happy. And I don't know if he's happy, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter where you grow up. Our innate ability birthright our birthright is happy peace we are born our our who we are like human spiritual humans these like spiritual beings in a meat suit like we are peace happy loving caring giving that's who we are on a soul level so what gives well it's being born into families that think like this and it shapes who we are and it's emotional abuse and it's emotional neglect it's narcissism and then what do we do? We take on these beliefs and we pass them down. It's like racism. Oh, Casey, but it really is, right? That's the power of the mind. What I want you to do, we're going to pray to see things differently because you're in pain right now. We're in pain when we don't have what we want. We're in pain when we keep failing. We're in pain. We're in pain, right? We want to feel ease. We want to ease. We want to feel ease. We want to feel peace. We want to feel happiness. We want to feel like relieved. We want to see it happening for us. We deserve it. We deserve it. So now you're seeing that it's a worthiness issue. So here's how you handle the beliefs. Okay. Is going back and you start going through these memories and the homework is actually going to be the first thing of home. The homework is I want you to journal out all of your weight, body health, and diet memories, childhood, teenage, young adult. I don't care if it was a coach, a mom, and you can name it either my funny memories, my funny weight memories, my fucked up, weird um, weight loss memories or weight or body image. Like you can call it whatever you want. My weird, my funny, my fucked up stories. And I want you to write them out. You may cry, you may get pissed, whatever, but it may be long. It may be short. I want you to just write them out. And honestly, this is going to keep working on you because what we're doing is we're expanding the way you think we're opening your heart. God, angels, universe, whatever it is you believe in higher source, higher power is going to constantly work on you. You know why? Cause you're here. You are asking for guidance, spiritual guidance. And it will always be given. So you may be at a red light or in the grocery store, something pop up and you get another one like, oh my God, this is totally it. Like my whole life, I truly believe that you had to starve yourself to be skinny. Or if you were skinny, you got all the guys, but okay, we're going to go a step further. Just hold it. But your homework, I want you to go ahead, start writing out all of your fucked up memories. Start writing out all your fucked up weight, body, all this shit. What your mom said, what your grandma said, everything. Okay. And I want you to just notice what these experiences taught you about yourself and about weight loss, about healthy weight, about health, whatever. Notice like what the belief that you took on was. And here's what we're going to do to release and reframe because the intention is what your intention was. I want to be happy. I want healing, right? We're tired of the struggle. What's the opposite of a struggle? Peace, ease, flow, certainty, grace, confidence. That's what we're mer merging into. And it's going to take time because we get what we believe we can have. The, you are a vibration right now. You're vibing. Your vibe attracts your tribe, right? Your vibration, what you put off, how you think, and it's really just how you think. So thoughts become things because they have an energetic frequency. So the thoughts you've been thinking, unworthy piece of shit, fucking piece of shit, shame, shame, guilt, guilt, not safe to be skinny, not safe to be that, whatever. Because men may be scary if you think, skinny girls get all the guys and you are scared of men because of they may get you pregnant or whatever that's a whole different training because we have that too in hot moms and relationships now you know why you've never hit the weight goal you know you're trying to stay safe but this is where it's trauma none of that's true 